Hi guys, in this video I'll be reviewing uh, an app called Block My World. According to its description, uh, it's a fantastic freeform augmented reality building game that allows you to create awesome constructions in your own real world surroundings. This game was developed by uh, a developer called Scary Beasts, and uh, as you can see, you can choose your type of um, uh, block that you want to use. Uh, choose the uh, texture and the color and uh, place it in the real world in augmented reality uh, Some of the blocks are small some are larger, but you don't have a direct control of the size of the blocks Something I really want to see in this type of uh, games uh, creation games However, you can rotate the shapes. Uh, it's very easy. You just swipe left and right uh, You can reposition it and there's also option to snap objects to other objects if you position your the center of the screen on the center uh, of the item and then you can just snap it to another block it's very easy and very convenient and also very useful if you want to build a symmetrical uh, and accurate uh, structures here i just start building something um, i actually have no idea what i'm doing i just have to build you know like a house but you know actually it turned out to be something else uh, not very sure what it was but just playing around and here I'm discovering that there is an option uh, to snap uh, uh, blocks to other blocks and as you can see I started without snapping so it turned out to be quite weird and then I decided to just uh, delete everything and start from fresh uh, so I can have more control the accuracy of how where the blocks are placed uh, as you can see at the bottom there are um, uh, two controls for one for adding, the plus button is for adding and the minus is for uh, removing blocks. So you can just tap and position the center of the screen on the block that you want to remove, just tap and then you uh, remove the block. Just make sure that you are uh, pressing the right one and um, yeah it's very easy to add and remove blocks in this game. Now as you can see there are no uh, shadows so it's quite, um, for me it was quite um, disappointing. It's because, uh, you know, it just it just feels that the cubes are floating, right? A bit floaty. So that's why you want those shadows. And it's absent in this game. Probably due to performance reasons, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, I previously tried other uh, similar 3D modeling uh, uh, apps that use blocks. Uh, one of them was uh, Tayasui Blocks, and it was incredible. I really enjoyed it. And the other one was uh, Dig for the Merge Cube. Oh, there's also another one called uh, Makebox AR. It's another simple um, a block 3D modeling app, also very nice uh, with plenty of options and very easy to use. Here you can see me uh, getting the end of it, but as you can see there's a problem. You can just create a straight line. For example, uh, in some apps I saw the option just to place the first block and then hold and create a line and then it just fills up the gap, the distance uh, between the two positioning uh, with blocks. So it's very easy to create a straight line. Whether here you need to place the block one by one, which is inconvenient if you want to build really a complex uh, and large structures. Now maybe there is a way I didn't find it. Tried really I tried and I didn't find any way to do this. And the thing is for an app that you know um, advertises itself for as an uh, 3D modeling app that allows you to build really cool things and uh, everything you want, uh, it's quite limiting in that aspect. And this is a simple feature that it's not hard to implement and it can really help you uh, design, uh, easily design uh, big structures. For example, I just want to build a house here and I just find myself, you know, just uh, struggling because it takes so much time and sometimes I miss the positioning and I just want to create straight lines and build a, a building very quickly. But as you can see, I, I just gave up at some point because it was too time consuming and not convenient. Now here you can see uh, me using the save option. Saving option is very important. Because, for example, if you're working like a 3D model, uh, like for a few minutes, uh, you need to make sure that you save it. So, for example, if the app crashes or if you want to continue working on it on another day, you want to have the saving option so you can just load it later and uh, continue working uh, uh, from the last uh, time you uh, stop working on it. Uh, here, I think I had enough. I said, oh, this is boring. I want to do something, you know, add some colors. So I chose another texture. Um, it's very easy. By the way, uh, it's very easy to uh, change the colors, but if you change the color in the colors tab, it only changes the color uh, for the text for the six top texture uh, items, not for everything. So I'm just, I, it was a bit confusing. Uh, it wasn't very clear, 
but again if you change for blue only in the texture uh, tab only the six top uh, items uh, will change their color to blue still they're gonna maintain their texture of course by the way the interaction uh, part of this app is very limited um, you can use this domino uh, style the tiles uh, in order to place them and apply some force to it and see how it collapses as you can see in the following footage So that's it, here I was ready to uh, run things, so I just uh, saved it in case I messed things up uh, and just pushed it, you see, you push it with the hand icon, as you can see it's not realistic, it's kind of a slow motion uh, um, physics, you know, not very exciting uh, in my opinion. Uh, it would be nice if it, there was an option to control the physics uh, like the gravity and force, something, but there isn't anything like this this is what it is now there are cool cool options here uh that i really like uh as you can see the uh, two uh, top uh purple buttons at the left side uh the top one you can replay uh the animation which is really cool uh the second one just restores the tile to their previous state so you can do either this one or you can also save and load uh the state um uh using the save load option of course the reason for that is it's really fun to do this, uh, just pushing things and playing with the physics and if you want to do this again uh, in some other apps you just can't but here just press and you can just replay it, see it again if it just really... Uh, but you don't have, you can't save the animation you can just record the screen if you want to share it but you can save uh, a certain uh, play uh, in the app interaction uh, here I demonstrate how to change the color, so you choose a color uh, I think it's green, yeah, it was a green and then you see it automatically changes the color oh, no, actually blue changes the color of the tab texture uh, you can just uh, tap the um, coloring icon coloring uh, button and start coloring um, different blocks as you can see, this is only the six top, six top ones are colored, as you can see the other ones are just standard uh, with a, a fixed texture that you cannot change its color uh, now you don't have the option to have a, an advanced color picker like one you have for example in Photoshop in Adobe Photoshop here you just have uh, these blocks, colored blocks and you can just tap on the color that you want to use also there isn't an option to import your own textures or download from a library or a library you just have a very limited uh, types of textures which is of course limiting if you want to be very creative and create really cool stuff you're quite limited with uh, the options that you have Now nothing stops you from using the color on the domino blocks It's very easy Just play around, everything is uh, is colorable You can change the colors of every single uh, block in this game So the good thing about this app is uh, this is uh, quite easy to use uh, Some things are not that clear but mo in the most part it's very easy to use On the downside it doesn't give you a lot of creative options and customizations To create everything you want with blocks I mean almost everything Yeah. I mean, but these are still blocks yeah and you don't have any types of blocks you don't have rectangles and you can create your own uh, custom block uh, uh, size or shape uh, but still it gives you a decent amount of features to create some really cool stuff minecraft style so here I had enough of uh, rectangular one, uh, blocks and I decided to use the spheres and you can see simple spheres um, you know, you can use them, but again, it's very limiting. What are you going to do with spheres? I mean, maybe you could do a lot of things with spheres, but, you know, I want some, you know, uh, create really unique stuff, and uh, I need more types of blocks for this, uh, not just spheres and rectangles. Oh, uh, yeah, I just thought because it was a sunset, a sunrise, and it was just beautiful to watch, so I was enjoying uh, building stuff and also watching the sunrise at the same time. Yeah, so this is it. Uh, this is Block My World in a Nutshell. Uh, developed by Scary Beasties um, and you can download this app from the App Store for free so if you like these types of creativity apps uh, this is a cool one to use if you have kids that enjoy
creating things uh, just bring it to them download it and i think they're gonna enjoy it until then guys see you in the next video bye bye